Juan Laporte has 10 years of pro experience going into this stay busy type fight. Uh, he's fought and lost against a who's who of the division in Salvador Sanchez, Eusebio Pedroza, Wilfredo Gomez, Barry McGuigan, and he gives the undefeated Julio Cesar Chavez a highly competitive fight six months prior to this bout. Uh, Laporte is dropping in the rankings, but he still packs a wallop. Now, Jocko King, on the other hand, was busy in his first year as a pro with a record of 13-0. and However, he suffered a loss against Francisco Tomas de Cruz, which sent him on a downward trajectory for the rest of his career. Uh, now he has lost five of his last seven fights, and this bout with Laporte will be the last time we see him in the ring. Sammy Puentes went the distance with him and beating him on points. Jeff Roberts on points. Al Martino fought him to a draw to Tomas de la Cruz. Fast start for Laporte landing that right hand. Jocko King has won only two fights in the last two years. Laporte on the belt line with that right hand. Pretty aggressive thus far in the opening round. A good start for him. John King gives away about a half inch in height and about an inch in reach advantage. There's no way he can fight this fight backing up. He's got to do what he normally does, and that's come forward and make the fight. And right now, Jocko King just doesn't seem to have his feet planted in the ring yet. He's very unsure of himself. Almost as if Jocko King is in there and saying, wow, I'm in here with Juan Laporte. He used to be a champion. He certainly didn't show that at the weigh-in. He didn't show it at the press conference the other day. He showed absolutely no respect for Laporte. Laporte looking good right now. The right hand is sharp. The combination's looking good thus far in the first round for Laporte. You know, it's a different feeling. Once you get in the ring, crowd is there and it's roaring for Laporte. And you realize, wait a second. I'm in here against a one-time champion, a guy who looking for a title shot. We'll see if Jocko can shed those nerves. And that's what it appears to be thus far. He just doesn't seem to be able to get off in this first round. Those shots which found Jocko King landed on his chin in, a, in the first minute of this round. They still have him a bit unsteady. Time winding down, round one. Scheduled for 10. And thus far, Jocko King is not pressuring Juan Laporte, so it's going to be up to Laporte. We've seen him in other fights. Start off like this and then kind of slack off. And the opponent doesn't push him. We'll see. We'll be back with round two. 10, Juan Laporte in the red trunks, in the maroon trunks, Jocko King, and joining us at ringside, light heavyweight contender Don Lalonde, just back from a trip home to Winnipeg. How are things at home? Fantastic, Sam. It was really nice to get home. I bet they liked your win over Mustafa Hamshaw, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they enjoyed that. Oh, well, that was, to say the least, an action-packed bout. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the fight. It was... Uh, you, it wait a minute, wait a minute. You what? Um, other than the low blows and the elbows and the headbutts, I really enjoyed the fight. And actually, they didn't bother me so much. The low blows really mainly hit me in the hips, not in, yeah, there. So, whoa, looks like the ports come out uh, faster this time than the last time we were sitting here. It was very quiet in that last fight. Yeah. Sam and I have been pointing out that Laporte is the kind of guy, if you don't jump on him, he's just going to take his time. Yeah. Um, that's what he did last time. Um, I watched him fight here, but um, it seemed in the first round there he was he was taking this fellow apart pretty good. He was seemed a lot more aggressive. Seemed like the other fellow Jocko King seemed to be nervous. What do you think, Don? Does that time Sam he took the fight right to the forte and he walked into a skip shot right on it. This one's all over. Maybe this is finished right now. Tremendous power. The first day looks uh, very serious. He, he wants that title shot right away. They're talking about him with the number two contender. 
Mario Azapache Martinez. That means Mario, I'm a Sam Rosen fan, <laughs> Martinez, the guy can punch. That should be an interesting fight to be shown nationally in about two months. Quick work for Juan Laporte. Watch the right hand. Well, you're talking about respect and so forth. Jonko King decided he was going to start making the fight right there. And did he ever leave himself open? Look where his left hand is. It's down by his chest. He walks right into the path of a runaway right hand. Beautifully timed right hand by Laporte. Laporte just watching, and he's got it. Fans love it. Quick work for Juan Laporte. And the arms raised in victory, and perhaps a title shot awaiting Juan Laporte. And you've been in that position, Don, where you, you know the feeling that you, you want to look good in the ring because a title shot may be in the offing. That's right, Sam. That's what it looked like to me today. La Laporte looked, looked to me like he came out to really uh, show that he's serious and that his last effort was uh, not ind indicative of how his conditioning is or his desire. He came out smoking today, and he looked really good. Jocko King seemed to have some gardenitis early, but then uh, taken out quick in the second round. And for Jocko, it may be time to think of another occupation. Things have gone downhill after a great start to his career. He's won only two fights in the last two years. And the losses have been eight and three draw, uh, two draws. So two, eight, and two in your last 12. I think that starts to tell you something. You better get the hint. <laughs> You'd think so. It's time to get out for Laporte championship fight maybe just around the corner ed darian is in the ring let's get the official time ladies and gentlemen before i announce the time of this bout i'd like to direct your attention to the red corner former six-time world champion ladies and gentlemen here is emil griffith right here emil griffith former six-time world champion emil griffith Ladies and gentlemen, referee Johnny Lobianco stops this bout at 1 minute and 28 seconds of the second round, and the winner by a TKO, Juan Laporte. Laporte. Answer for Chaco King. 